Because of my accident, because of my testimony and having a disability, I have people that come up to me all the time and want to know what's wrong with me. And I used to take offense at that, but then I realized I have a platform. I have an opportunity. I have a captive audience to tell them about what God's done in my life. I started writing music years ago, and I finished one CD where I had written all the songs, and I have that available, and I've traveled and performed with those for years. And then I wrote three songs, and then I started working full-time, so I wasn't able to write anymore, and so I kept waiting. I was like, well, I'll just wait until I can write more to finish the project. I realized that all three of the songs were evangelistic in nature. So I just then felt like God was impressing me to corp incorporate hymns that have been really influential to me. So as I was praying, I just realized that it needed to be about missions. With a friend, that's God's command to me. God's Command to Me is one of the ones that I've written. And that was actually inspired when I was driving down in my car one day and I saw a homeless man holding up a sign asking for money. And I thought, how do I see him? Do I see him the way that God sees him? Do I love him the way that God loves him? It was that interaction with a homeless man that inspired that song. Carpe Diem. That song was inspired by my husband, Kevin, who is a chaplain. It was his first death that he was called to be at as a chaplain. And so when he came home, he told me the story of this man who had died um, estranged from his family. And the only thing that he had with him physically, materially, was a pair of glasses and a watch. God spoke this song to me, and I wrote, I wrote the whole song that night, and it was inspired from Kevin's experience. She's waiting for her Savior, rescue from this world that hurts. The last one that I'll be doing that I wrote is She's Waiting. I passed this house in a really bad part of town, and there was a young lady who was sitting on one of the front steps. It was a very cold morning, and she had her head buried in her hands, and I could tell that she was weeping. There's so many people around us that are just waiting for us to share the gospel with them. The hymns, as I was thinking about all of that, and I started researching hymns that were special to me, I started studying about why they were written. Fanny Crosby is one of my heroes, and so I think I have three songs on the project that are written by her. I'm also really excited about singing Jesus Loves Me. It's one of the most popular songs in the entire world. It's known across cultures, across language barriers. I have French in my background, so I'm going to sing part of it in French. An important part of this CD is that I'm going to use the proceeds of the CD to support missions. I've also started a laundromat ministry outreach called Quarters for Eternal Change. This CD project was more than just getting my music out there. It has an overwhelming and an over-encompassing um, purpose to support missions, not just sing about missions and not just inspire with the words that I'm singing, but also financially, it's going to help actually be God's hand and be His feet.
it's not about me. It's not about my voice. That's just what I can give him as an offering. And I am giving it to him and asking him to bless it and use it and just impact people with his message. God tells us to go. And as long as I'm physically able, I want to go and I want to serve and I want to tell the good news of what God has done in sending Jesus Christ, His Son, to die for the sins of the world.